Hi everyone, so today we're looking at the Santos Monaco. So in, so in, so in. Day up. Just up there. Beautiful hotel. Short walk away from town. Short walk away from seafront. Short walk away from the strip and square as well, so. In a sort of good area, ain't it? Yeah. Go on, man, then. So, yeah, just thought I might as well do it because um, I'm sure it's coming over soon. It's the hotel she will be staying at. So, yeah, just thought I might as well walk up, have a look. See where it is, see what's in the area as well. And see what bars are about, cause um, yeah, we we'll probably be going on a piss up with Anne and her husband. Supermarket there, if you want in anything. Newspaper, sunglasses, shirts, Bucket and spade. Time massage parlor that's shut. Nice little restaurant there. Um, Taberna London. Not open. Also, now salon next door. Soft. How'd you say that? Slavkoski. Slavkoski, yeah. Slavkoski. I don't know. Oh, so maybe that'll be a new bar. Not sure yet, guys. Uncle Ped's town. Shut. Yeah, man. Not as popular as Uncle Ped's in the rink on end, I will say that, guys. I will say that. Oh, pulled my neck again, though. Just down the road there, Sue's dark bar, then the little side alleyway. Behind it, there's a few nice little Dutch bars. And uh, corner of the road on Avenue de Europa, you have Telly Pizza. If you want a pizza, of course. <laughs> Hotels, every group diplomatic there. Los Alamos as well. Winners Bar. And the halfway house just down to the end of the street. And Nor as well, which I believe is like a Dutch steakhouse, apparently. I'm not too sure there, guys. Beautiful little pathway up to the Sandos Monica as well. Nice sort of seated area. Some trees, um... Or some oranges up to back in these trees as well if you want to grab them. I think you're actually allowed to do that lot. I've seen quite a few times Spanish people making use of them and just going and getting bags full. Beautiful walk up this pathway, then of course. Santos Monaco starts to come into view. Now, I have never stayed there, guys, but I've heard it's a beautiful hotel offering many different facilities. From a high class, top quality restaurant to a spa. 
you've also got a huge outdoor and indoor pool area as well as a gym, sauna, hot tub and jacuzzi as well from an other so um, pretty relaxing holiday. Nice sun terrace up there, um, sort of sun terrace spa area, ain't it? Not really the best view, I would say, but still, when in Benny don't sunshine, and you can get pissed. Um, the Law Cafe chocolate shop just down the road as well, sort of got a nightclub as well up the end which has been shut for quite a while just down this way I think is Calais Le Panto I believe um, yeah Calais Le Panto and of course you've got Kebabish King up there as well if you want in a kebab, a curry, pizza, burger. Great food. Waiting for Sue to do a picture. If we go up where, Mum? On the roof of... Oh, Jesus. Um, of all the times I've come up here, I've never noticed that lot statue right over there on the roof of the apartments. And stupid old me, I couldn't think of the name of the road we're on, and there's a bloody road sign right there. I need to go back to bed. Come in. Up this little pathway, you will eventually come to the reception for Hotel Santos Monaco. <laughs> it is oh, the go to the site that again. The coach will either drop you off on the bottom right there. Or the top road, or it might just drop you off at some point on Avenue to the Filipinas and sort of just point you in the direction of the hotel. Beautiful waterfall, fam. God, I can't talk today. Beautiful waterfall, future day. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Wouldn't stare at it too long, or you'll be wanting to go for me. wee. Then, of course, you do have reception for the Sandos Monaco Hotel. Beautiful little fountain if you just want to. Sit outside for a bit, chill away from the hustle and the bustle of the hotel. They do accept mobility scooter guys. Yeah, they do accept mobility scooters, guys. With your scooter charging point just being behind here. I would also double check what company they use because um, some hotels only use Amigo 24 and if there's other scooters on charge there quite often either staff or people staying at the hotel will take your scooter off charge so maybe just sort of like every so often nip out and just 
check to see if you're getting charge in it because um, up into this ranch at Flamingo went out for a day out got halfway to where we wanted to go and ran out of charge <laughs> anyway hit the like hit subscribe see you in the next one